What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. Well today I want to look at work pants today. Um, I got Brunt sent me over the Tora work pants. They're all new work pants. About $60 for these. And then Bocamel FR sent me over some of their flame resistant pants. And I was kind of thinking between these two pants, you know, which one makes a better work pant? But they actually go back and forth so much with, you know, I think you know, Brunt does this better. I think Bocamel does this better. Um, it's not so much as a versus as I kind of just wanted to show you guys the differences between these two pants really more than anything and how much, you know, what you can spend for 60 bucks on work pants can be crazy different between another brand. There's not really like, you know, like power tools. It's not like one slightly more powerful than the other. There's actually quite a number of differences in these pants from wearing these for a few weeks now that I've really discovered. I will say the biggest thing I've discovered with work pants is that I am a 32 or 34 waist and 32 length. Both of the, or all three of these pants are the exact same size that I ordered, but they do fit pretty different, I will say. And the common denominator between that is that all these pants are actually pretty long. Now, when you're wearing boots, they do even out pretty well. It's not like I'm dragging the back of the pants on the ground or anything, but be aware that if you're not wearing boots with these pants, that they probably will drag on the ground. That's one thing I will say to be aware of. But to start off, guys, let's start with the Brunt Tora work pants here, and I'll show you guys some of the cool features of these pants as well as the overall construction. Okay, taking a look at these pants. One thing I like about is there is a good use of triple um, seams here in the construction. So there is a lot of detail here in the construction. These are made in Vietnam. Um, I will say, you know, they got a nice soft in, inlay here on the waist, which is awesome. They do feel actually a little thin. I'm not saying that's a bad thing here um, in the upper portion of these pants. And as you move down the, um, the legs here actually feel, you know, very good material, very solid material there. Um, but I feel like there almost should be a little more padding or something up here in the waist. You can see you know, there's really not much there in the waist, which is not a bad thing, but just kind of feels different from the Bocamel VRs, which are almost the opposite of these. It's, it's funny, check out these both pants, wearing this for a while. They are just total opposite of each other. It's not like it's a bad thing, but they just really have different uses for different uh, things, times you need to wear these for. So these are 100% cotton, 20% nylon, and 2% spandex, of course, machine wash only and uh, they do have you know of course a nice quality zipper um, this is great with the um, little uh, latch here for the front of the pants here the little button um, it's not sewn in but it's actually more of like a rivet in here so i'm hoping that'll be a lot more durable than a lot of other pants where this is a common failure point here that pops out pretty easily now, the one thing I did not like about the Brunt pants, I will say probably two things. They did feel a decent amount kind of, you know, baggy, I will say, wearing them. As well as there's really not a lot of pockets. And the pockets you do have are actually somewhat decently deep. Here's this front pocket, front left pocket here that goes about, you know, about a good I'd say at least 10, 11 inches down, which is nice. But that's kind of all the pockets you really get. Now, one thing I noticed between the Boca Mouse and the Brunts are going to be your belt loops are have a slightly different construction. Um, of course, the belt loops on the Brunts are a little bit thinner. I don't know if they're not as strong in the construction because I can't really see um, all of the stitching here. But you can see that we just got one line of stitching here up on the top. And then on the bottom here, we've got a couple lines of stitching right in that belt loop there. And of course, your rear belt loop is much thicker, much beefier here. So again, though, we only have one line of stitching there. You can see that, that gray right there, that stitching there, kind of on the back loop there. So I just assume these will be, of course, very durable. Of course, for the price, 60 bucks, they should last you quite a while. And they do have, you know, of course, the brunt name behind them. So they're well known for staying uh, very durable pants. So let's take a look at the Bocamel FRs now. All right, so here's the Bocamel FRs. These are, of course, going to be a flame resistant type of pants here. So I did a, I actually did a post on Instagram. Uh, of course, if you've never been welding before, you, of course, you get a ton of, you know, your clothes destroyed rather quickly. Uh, one thing I like about these pants quite a bit is they have a, a decent, I would say, a, definitely a better fit than the Brunts. They're a little more fitted. Um, they like to stay, you know, kind of not necessarily like tight or anything, but they definitely stay more fitted on you. And I like the waist, how they add these little areas of stretch here too. So you can almost wear this without a belt and they're going to stay on quite nicely. Um, the bell loops are much more beefier than the brunts here. Um, here is going to be, I mean, this is your back here and you've got, you know, 
all these all these bell loops here are a lot beefier. You don't just have one really beefy one right at the back, but you've got a lot of just you know well beefy options here to really keep those belt loops secure. Here's your front. Um, your front left and right belt loops are both rather thick here, rather heavy duty, which is really nice. And the Boca Mel VRS, you do get a lot more pockets. They're more of a cargo design here with some nice Velcro there. You've got another one that's larger below that here. And both of them are the same, whether you're wearing the blue or the gray ones. They both are holding up pretty well. Um, again, with same with the brunts, these are actually even longer than I'd expected. I only remember 32 long, and I would say these are almost closer to like a 36 long, honestly. Now, here's some differences you can quickly find between the Bocamel VRs and the brunts. Check out the um, the hem here at the bottom of the pan. We only have one stitch there, you know, some smaller stitches here. And if I compare that to the brunt, pull the brunt here you can see the construction of the brunt there look at that we got triple stitching on the way down they've got a double stitching line on the hem there so you can clearly see you know some of the differences in quality there not say like the hem is going to fail by any means there but you know i, I feel like the upper portion of the bocamel vrs is definitely a better construction whereas the bottom portion like the legs down for the brunts are definitely a better construction there so i want to get some sparks flying on these pants guys let's see Well, all right, guys, so that's kind of what I got to show you on these two pants. I think they're both fantastic pants for what they are. Um, you know, my preference, I don't really have a preference between either or of these pants. I've been kind of just wearing them both as work pants, you know, the last few weeks here. Um, I will say I like the brunt pants for kind of more of the style, whereas I like the Boca FRs for kind of more of the comfort and practicality, that flame resistance there. So I'll leave links in the description, guys, if you want to check out both these pants. I will say my suggestion, if you are a 34 or 32 like me, probably order a 34 or 30 if you're not going to be wearing these with boots. Um, they are both quite long. Um, that's kind of the only downside to both these pants that I have discovered. But other than that, honestly, both are pretty good choices for work pants. I'm not really like anything like glaringly bad about these pants. I'll keep wearing them, see how well they do, see how well they hold up, of course, in the future. And guys, thanks for watching. Take care. Have a great day and stay safe out there.